It's not 93 boxing. I'm back with a quick video. Amir Khan says he wants to go straight um, in a fight with Garcia Thurman, the winner of them. And you know he was asked about a tuna fight, and um, he says he'd like to be in March actually. So it was very confusing because he won't be able to get Garcia Thurman in March because he says he wants to be back in March. So um, and he was mentioning Kell Brook. Now. You know, Kelbrook in a way, I think the fight can happen, needs to happen. I think for Khan's benefit, he should try aim for um, someone else than Dan, like a tune-up and then Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman winner. And then fight Kelbrook because now you, if you win the fight, you got the WBC title. You got the WBC title and you got more leverage on that fight You in terms of negotiations, in terms of money because Kelbrook's banking off getting more money than he actually deserves against Khan by you know with that little title literally oh, I'm the world champion no man shut your mouth you give us nothing and you talking shit man seriously but you know uh, one thing is um one thing I was a bit like kind of caught off guard off guard by is American saying that Kale Brook did not uh, win any rounds against Golovkin. I don't, I don't agree with that. And to be honest, that's kind of like, were you watching the fight? Really? Were you really watching the fight? So um, you're telling me that Kale Brook did not win a single round? This is me who's kind of known as a Kale Brook hater. But I'm being honest. Kale Brook actually won rounds and he, he did what no one thought. I mean, very few thought he would do. And he tried to say that uh, Kelbrook was, Golovkin was on top of him from round one, which is an exaggeration. I mean, actually, no, he was, but Kelbrook was winning a few rounds, bro. I kind of get what he means, but he goes, oh, Golovkin was uh, on him for round one, but I was outboxing him till that shot. That's really what he says. I mean, technically, yeah, but technically, no. Like, Kelbrook put on a good performance. He put on a good performance. I don't know if he's Khan's just saying this just to talk shit about Kell Brook because he doesn't like Kell Brook you know um, he sent out a tweet saying that with him a picture of him and Golovkin saying that oh this is the guy that smashed Kell Brook's face and the guy next to him will, will be the guy who smashes Kell Brook's face again so um, I think if he, if he really believes that it's just gonna be a walk in the park I don't know if he thinks like that but if he does, he'd be a bit making a big mistake. I think he, the way he talks, seems like he's underrating Kelbrook. In my, the way he sees, the seems to talk about Kelbrook seems like I think he underestimating Kelbrook. But maybe it could be just him talking shit. He might just know that Kelbrook's his top fighter. I, I hope he doesn't underestimate him because that'd be quite. <laughs> that actually would be quite funny though if Kelbrook beats him. He could beat him. I, I said that's a 50-55, but the, I believe the best American can beats the best Kelbrook. Um, yeah, man, I think American, if he underestimate Kelbrook, that'd be a big fuck up in his career. Um, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman fight, that's a bigger fight. Hopefully, he gets the WBC title first. Um, uh, but either way, man, Kelbrook fight will be great as well. Um, let me know what you think. I'm SR93 Boxing. I'm out.